it's Tuesday and you know what that means. It's time for my weekly weight loss update. I just ended week 19 on keto. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Natalie. I started keto at 241 pounds on January 1st, 2019. Last week, May 7th, 2019, I was 207.6 pounds. That means I had a 33 pound loss on keto. So please like and subscribe and join my journey. I post weekly weight loss updates. I, my week ends on Tuesday and you'll see it on Wednesday. So I say what my week is, uh, my weight is every week. I also do what I eat in the days. Uh, keto tips, keto advice, keto crate hauls, keto grocery hauls, you name it, I do keto on this channel. So please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Now that that's out of the way, I just ended, what, week 19 on keto. So like I said last week, my weight was 207.6 pounds. This week, is uh i filmed the scale this morning so i'm not going to tell you what it is you're going to have to watch and then we'll talk about it you zero it out hopefully you're seeing this i like to do a little dance i think it's really calibrating it and zeroing it out right <laughs> okay here we go Oh, you see that zero and then it went away. That's awesome though. That's a 1.4 pound loss this week and a shark weight. That is amazing. There's my body fat percent, 43.5. 206.2. Yes. 1.4 pound loss during shark week. Um, happy, happy toes, happy toes. Amazing. A 1.4 pound loss this week. That means I'm down 34.8 pounds, basically 35 pounds. I'm getting close to my second mini goal of losing 40 pounds. For those that are new, I set a goal for every 20 pounds. When I lost my first 20 pounds, I set a new goal to lose another 20 pounds and I'm doing that all the way till I lose 100 pounds. So my next goal was to hit 201 by May 1st. Obviously, I didn't make that. What's today? May 14th? <laughs> so I'm 14 days past the goal and I still have, what, 4.2 pounds to lose to hit that goal. But 206.2, that's not bad. I lost 1.4 pounds for the week. I am impressed and amazing and 34.8 pounds since January 1st. So that is like four and a half months. Yeah, somewhere around in there. Somewhere around in there, right? Four and a half months, five months. I think that's pretty good. I've lost 12 pounds in the last 60 days. So I consider it good. I did have some struggles if you watch my earlier weight loss updates i've been struggling i added a new tool to my repertoire for my journey and i went ahead and got the keto mojo i said in the beginning i would never be testing my blood glucose and ketone levels i found it very unnecessary and all that but i was ignorant to it i went ahead and got me a keto mojo and i'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've been doing, I filmed me doing it this morning. So let's see what level of ketosis I am in today. And this will explain the loss I had for the week. All right, and then we'll come back. Okay, I've been doing something new to test my ketones to see if I'm in ketosis. I got me a keto mojo, hashtag not sponsored. See where I'm at. This be a new addition to my weekly weight loss. See where 
my level of ketosis. I hate this part. Feel for you, diabetics. Getting some blood on there. 91. But I did have a soda before I test. So normally I'm in the 80s. So let's see where my ketones are at. And then I'm going to test. Oh, don't you close up. There we go. Then I'm going to test after my coffee, about an hour after. So I'm at a 1.2 ketones. There is a math you have to do. There's an app on my phone that I'm filming with right now. So I'll be back to let you know what my level of ketosis is. Don't judge me. I just got up. So my GKI is 4.21. That is a moderate state of ketosis. So what you do is you take your blood glucose, divide that by 18, take your q ketone level and divide it by 18 again and you get your GKI which is your glucose ketone index and that says what level of ketosis you're in one to three is optimal that is a high level of ketosis and then I'm at a 4.21 so that's in the moderate range amazing I'm gonna make my bulletproof coffee I'm gonna drink it and I'm going to mark an hour after I drink it. That's when you are at the highest level of spiking your blood sugar from something you eat. And when I'll test it again and show you. All right. I know you've seen tons of Bulletproof coffee, but I have changed up the way I make my Bulletproof coffee now that I'm in a deep state of ketosis. So let me show you how I'm making it now. So I'm using... Get this at Whole Foods, 365 MCT oil vanilla flavor, and not the XCT oil like I used to use. Close enough, 16 grams. We're going with it, right? Oh, it dropped down to 15, so there it is. Collagen I'm using by Schwartz. I get it off at of Amazon. That's collagen, peptides, plus bio, grass-fed. It was the more affordable brand on Amazon. So I put one scoop of that in there. Skinny syrups mocha in there. Now the syrups do change, depends on what I got a hand. I'm adding my salted caramel, which is my favorite. And I do put two tablespoons of it in here. So about 30 grams worth. Use organic heavy whipping cream by Organic Valley. It is a zero carb cream. Okay, we're having a heavy coffee today. Normally it's 15 grams of oil, 15 grams of cream, 30 grams of sweetener, and 10 grams of collagen. Coffee. 12 ounces minus the heavy cream. And I blend it up and I drink it. Well, it's best to use a measuring spoon when you're doing that so you don't go over like I did but I'm not too worried about it it's not gonna kill me we're gonna see what it does to my blood glucose and ketones though do not see how frothy that is it's amazing I know it's just coffee there's my hubby <laughs> he's going for cereal Oh, he's feeding the dog. Okay. Yeah, my husband's not keto. He goes on car binges. He doesn't think I know. I see. <laughs> yeah. Don't be triggering my people. Jeez. Amazing. So good. My puppy's getting breakfast. I'm getting breakfast. Hubby will get his own breakfast. I'm ready to start the day. All right. Okay, it's been over an hour, just like an hour and 15 minutes. So let's see where it's at. So I'm going to a different finger. Make sure you're switching it up if you're doing it. I want your fingers getting sore. So it's still at a 91. It did not spike my blood sugar. I'm at the same. Okay, so it did drop my ketone to 
0.09 having that coffee. So I will be back with my index, my GKI. Okay, my GKI now is 5.62. So it's up my GKI, but I'm still in a moderate state of ketosis. Three to six is a moderate state of ketosis. I'll take that. I'll be back at 1256 and let you know where my blood ketones are. At the three hour mark after my bulletproof coffee, I will only drink diet soda and water. And we'll let's see where we're at at the three hour mark past my coffee. Okay, it's been about three hours, give or take. I'm gonna do this and I'll show you what the blood sugar is. Okay, my blood sugar is 79. So three hours after bulletproof coffee is the lowest it's ever been. So I started at 91, it stayed at 91, and now it's dropped to 79. So bulletproof coffee is a win. I'm fine with doing that every morning. Now let me do ketones. Okay. What is it? Wow, my ketones are 1.8, the highest it's ever been. And you got to keep in mind, MCT oil has ketones, so they're working in my body. So let me tell you the GKI. Okay, my GKI is the, low, is the lowest I've ever seen it. It's 2.44. And I've been doing this all week since Saturday. So that is a high level of ketosis. Do you see what the benefit of a bulletproof coffee is as long as you're using the right fats? Awesome, awesome. I will be doing videos on this and showing you the different effects. So, you know, I'll do one with just butter and coconut oil, just butter, just coconut oil, and we'll see what kicks you into a high level or keeps you at a moderate level and what kicks you down into a low or maybe even kicks you out, you never know. So this is why I'm doing the test, you know. It's an expense you do not have to do on keto, but I wanted to know, and if I would have been doing this when I ate that yeast, I would have known right away it spiked my blood sugar. So I will be testing at least my blood sugars. The ketone strips are expensive. I'm only doing it this much in the beginning to see what's going on. Okay, I'm trying to get an average of what I'm doing. So, you know, I'll test my blood glucose when I eat stuff new, like an hour, two hours, three hours after it, and see where it's at. You know, it's good to know, especially if you eat new things, if it's spiking your blood sugar and stuff. Now, you're going to have some spike, but it shouldn't be a huge spike. If, if you go from like 79 to 100 or even way up there into 140s, you know, then you know that food you just ate is not for you and you should never have it again. So that's why I'm doing it. All right, let's get back to the weekly weight loss update. So right now, as you see, I'm in a high level of ketosis. That bulletproof coffee with the MCT oil, which is ketones, put me into the high level ketosis. This is confirming to me the way I've been doing keto is working and right, okay? I don't do no fats in my coffee and just black coffee in the morning, no. I have a bulletproof coffee every morning. And if you see my earlier updates and videos, I used to not only put the XCT oil in there, I would put butter and coconut oil with it. It was extremely high fat and lay, fat laden, if I could talk, in the morning to kick me into ketosis. And that was my thinking, and I know it's right, okay? But now that I'm, you know, down 35 pounds basically, and I'm trying to, you know, let my body fuel on its body fat. I switched to just that MCT oil and not adding more fat than that in the morning. But that still gets me like 25 grams of fat, somewhere around in there, 30. I don't know. I'll be posting that <laughs> soon. I'm going to do a whole series about testing blood glucose and ketones. I'm gonna add that to my channel here so you can see and I can explain it better for you. 
I don't want to do it here on the update. We're going to be in an hour video, and I don't think you want to watch that, right? It was shark week for me all week, and I still lost 1.4 pounds. That usually ha makes me have a water gain, right? And it basically ended yesterday, just residual sharks in the water, so to speak. If you don't know what shark week is, that is my monthly period, just to put it out there, okay? <laughs> I like to say short week because, you know, period, it sounds gross. I don't know. But that's what I'm talking about, shark week, amp flow, period, okay? Get it? <laughs> Anyways, the sharks are leaving the water, and, uh, you know, I saw that 206.2 on, well, excuse me, on Friday. So... And then on Sunday, I went down to 206.0. Yesterday, I went back up to 206.8. And today, I'm 206.2. So, I know it's a real loss. Excuse me. Thirsty. Drinking that Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. I do, just in case you're new here, I do all types of keto. Okay? And then, I don't really intermittent fast. I kind of do. I didn't eat to 1.30 today, actual food, but I had the Bulletproof coffee around uh, 9.30 this morning. 9, 8, 8 or 9 this morning, you'll see it. So um, that's the kind of fasting I do. I don't call putting fat and cream in my coffee breaking my fast. And as you can see, it it's helping me, <laughs> you know. I'm not saying whether intermittent fasting when black coffee is better than what I'm doing, but I'm saying this is what works for me. It's working for my sisters. It's worked for other people I know. So I'm not a doctor and all that, but uh, if you want to follow what I do, you can try it out, right? At your own risk. Don't be trying to sue me. 1.4 pound loss, 38.8. What, not 38, I wish. 34.8 pounds since January 1st. What do I got? 4.2 pounds to go to hit that 201. So I'm thinking in, it, it's probably not gonna be next week, but the week after that. I'm thinking in two weeks, I'll be finally at my second goal, maybe by June 1st, you know, Memorial Day. Let's see. I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to keep keto strong, and I'm going to keto on, and I hope you do too, and I hope you had a good week, and if you didn't, and you fell off the wagon, don't beat yourself up, get right back on it, and keto on, and keto strong. All right, that's my weekly weight loss update. I will see you next Wednesday. All right, good luck to you all.